No, it's Drew Carey's Improv Again. Oh, wow. And we did that with Crappy, so it won't be like that. Sister and sister talent show. You gotta have it on me, right? All right? 
We have won three years in a row, and I'm not going out our senior year. Right, now, the big finale. Hope you remember that I'm going to jump into your arms. <laughs> Are we clear? Step, step <laughs> Mommy, look. I made goat out of wet. Oh, honey, you are so talented. <laughs> oh, please, make more. <laughs> I, I made a sock out of my sock ball. Oh, honey, that's wonderful. I am so proud of you. What is your father going to give you? I'm sorry. Mommy, I only wanted to impress you. Oh, what do you want to say? I only get one one day a month with you. I know, and you impress me. Just have plenty of with your father. Just like that. Now you hug my cheek. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I want you to take care of me. Put some ice on it. That hurts more. That hurts more. Some more ice on it. Okay, the panda escapes. Ooh. Blame it on the little guy. I don't see that how this is my fault. I made the proper structural calculations. You acknowledge the fact that I could do math. Really, all of the blame here is on you. In fact, I would even blame the society we grow up in. Because I was raised in a school where they didn't teach me the actual multiplication tables, okay? For all I know, four and a half times 100 could be 2,000 million. But you know what? The man doesn't want me to know that. You know why? Because the man secretly wants to liberate all the pandas. The man secretly wants all of the floors and houses to cave out. The man secretly wants your dinner to fall on the floor as your table is shattered. And do you know why? Because the man hates you. The man hates me. The man hates the pandas. The man hates everything. Nancy. <laughs> I think that if we all just relax 
and breathe in. Potter, oh. give me some of that Gatorade. Of course. Not you, my son. You must learn to be a man. Of course, we are both named Potter. <laughs> up, up, here, I shall help. What? I'm oh. waiting. Oh. Oh. My mouth grows thirsty with all of the steam. This is hard. Hi, Daddy. Potter, pour your beloved liquid down my throat. It is very beautiful, sir. Uh, Any moment now, son. You know I have bad depth perception, Daddy. <laughs> Just pour. Oh, my eyes! Oh, God, Parker, why? I'm terribly, oh, my terribly sorry, Daddy. Parker, you must help, you must help your father. Get down. Yes, down, Parker, yes. Uh, 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 <laughs> Parker, I'm blinded. You must be my seeing eye, son. That's the point, Daddy. You've hired men who harmed me my entire life. And now it's time for me to stand on my own two feet. Oh, no, no, no. I'll you what you owe. Oh, I forgot I had one. He is raised. I have done my job. And seen. I am a very bad man. 
But I'm not. I am surely going to heaven for my crimes. <laughs> but I'm not stupid. I'll not kill you. Not yet. <laughs> Just wait till we are on the outside, you see. Then all bets are off. I'm never going out. You got life for sticking your hand in a cow's asshole? <laughs> what the fuck is this deal? <laughs> Yeah, I know that two for one apples would be so much better than just one apple, but <laughs> I 
mean, don't you see? It says burned down two years ago. She said, checking the news on her smartphone to see that it actually burned down three years ago. <laughs> no, stranger. I did not know that. For it has yet, yet to be written in stone for me. <laughs> in pictograms, because I cannot read your fancy languages. And me. Station wagons. My dad gets in them every day. 
I like my women like I like my station wagons filled with kids. <laughs> I like my women like I like my station wagons with like big wood panels painted on the sides. <laughs> Alright, and teeth is the last one. I like my women like I like my teeth white. I like my women like I like my teeth. If you put one under your pillow, you can trade them in for something more valuable. Of course. <laughs> I like my women like I like my teeth getting drilled. <laughs> I like my women like I like my teeth in my mouth. <laughs> I like my women like I like my teeth touched by the local dentist. I like my women like I like my teeth. Hockey players don't have them. I like, I like my women like I like my teeth. Sometimes if I get a really good job, the company will pay for the care of them. I like my women like I like my teeth. Cavity free. Oh no, that's a little I like my women like I like my teeth covered in metal. Alright, and your last word. We have never so many and now I'm out of ones that I remember. Chocolate chip, thank you. Chocolate chip is your last one. I like my women like I like my chocolate chips. Brown. I like my women like I like my chocolate chips. Melting when it's too hot outside. I like my women like I like my chocolate chips. Semi sweet. I like my women like I like my chocolate chips. White. <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> Because I will not allow you to have babies with me if you do not 
not give me half the bananas. No, no big deal. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is a problem. Don't be no generations of people on this island. Don't give a <laughs> shit. <laughs> All you want to do is kill me. That's it. And so eat bananas. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I understand. I shouldn't get close it's to you. It's a rage weapon. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then I should get close to you. Ah, yes. <laughs> okay, I see how to feed you now. <laughs> And my and my high tops, my backwards snapback cap. And you know what I do? I just drink. I drink and I drink and I drink and I drink. And you know, I don't mean to toot my own horn here, but in the beer pong society slash world slash, you know the people that play beer pong. I'm tops. I'm tops. I'm out there just draining on them. Just draining on them. Just draining on them. Just draining on them. <laughs> Strange fractures of ice cream. And this one boy from down the road, he's 
So here, his name is Eustace, and all he does is he sits around, he drains, he drains, he drains, he drains, and now we can have a little milkshake in the <laughs> So we're outside of the ice cream parlor, and we decide the greatest challenge of all is to be to provide Eustace and a pack of milk. Well, you see, being a professional and all, I have to practice, like baseball players and football players. So I was standing outside the ice cream shop one day down the street from my house, and, and I just saw the, the most perfect setup. I was like, why not practice here? Went and grabbed a couple rocks, you know, and just sitting there. Drain and drain and drain and drain. I was on fire, that's what we call that in the, in the beer pong world. Um, <laughs> and so, and so I just started draining him and draining him, and I looked to my left, and I just see two kids walking with this look. They didn't like the look. It looked as if they wanted to climb me, like I was a tree or something. Well, I'm not a tree. I, I thought, ah, that's nothing. So I just kept draining and draining and draining. So as we were walking towards Eustace in his ice cream parlor, we noticed that he was on fire. <laughs> <laughs> he kept shouting, drain, drain, drain. So we thought, oh no, we better have a slave and I to climb him. And we had best find us a shower for him. So we tried to pick him up and escort him to the nearest fire hose, the nearest fire hydrant, or something along those lines, because we could drain him too. Little did we realize, because we were so young and naive, that fire would burn us too. So little Susie and I died. <laughs> Thank you. 
Kind of. Hmm. I'm sure, yeah, it's yeah. appropriate. Um, yeah. I mean, no hard feelings or anything. I mean, I, I'm a little lacking, I understand. I mean, I am a barber and I'm not yeah. the greatest. He doesn't have very good bed. Cut to him and Marissa's wedding. I do. I can kiss the bride? I do. Oh, no. Uh, you're not that cool, Scott. That's the truth of it. She talks to me a lot about, about that. <laughs> about how you're lazy. About how you really don't care about people. Hmm. She talks to me about your criminal record. About how you, how you were in jail for a while. That's a sweetie talk. <laughs> Please give me a hair. Uh, <laughs> Sex doesn't matter, but it does, it does. a lot. A lot. And that's a why sex matters. How else are you gonna get babies? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Part of life, you know. Yeah. And Part of it. obviously, I can't, I can't supply and fulfill my wife's needs. Yeah, I mean, no, I mean, don't. Let yourself get too beat up about it, man. You know, it's like, I mean, I'm a really attractive dude. Um, but and that, like, part of being really attractive is knowing you're gonna steal people's wives sometimes. You're backwards. <laughs> yeah, great. I just really appreciate your friendship. I thought you were gonna be upset. Well, no, it. no, I saw it coming. It's, it's great. It's okay. I mean, Bad. her mother also told me that I was a bit lacking in bed. Wow. And you were sleeping with her mother? I don't want to put it like that. Uh, yeah. We had friendly so, yeah. relations. Wow. That's weird. That's really weird. That's other weird thing. <laughs> this is an octopus with two heads. This is your mother naked. <laughs> <I'm back. laughs> this is your mother wearing only an octopus <laughs> yeah, with two heads. I just thought about Marissa's mother naked and it was really it was horrible. I don't know. I can't believe you would do that. I what a wish. violation of her trust, man. <laughs> really? <laughs> Do you think you get away with shit like that? I mean, this is the 21st century, it's not like 1705. I shouldn't have told you. Hey, I mean, it's not a problem. I should, oh, I missed, I missed a little bit. I'm getting a little nervous, actually. I sure. think that, I think maybe that I'll take a break from you as a barber mm. in the future. Hmm. I think uh, whether or not you tell Marissa what happened. Hey, hey, Marissa deserves to know that you've been fucking her mother. Seems I don't think I'm gonna tell her about that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that I'll, um, mm. I think we, I mean, I think we have a compromise. I'll take your wife, I'll never come to your business again, <laughs> and I won't tell her about, about the mother. Mother situation. And grandmother's, oh. And <laughs>